What is up guys and welcome back to the Collector Chaos channel. I'm back here in the Quid app opening some cheap coin packs. This goofy pun set released February 5th, 2018. These have 500,000 CC, so not too valuable, but there's a reason I'm opening these and that is that the latest Quid update is finally out for iOS and it has some cool new features, including the option to destroy your collectibles. That's right, burning is finally out it's now a feature which will remove any collectible pretty much permanently from the app super stoked about this and it even gives you store credit kind of similar to if you guys know neon mob they give you digital currency for discarding cards on there so in today's video i'm just gonna burn cards destroy some prints that we have get some store credits and let's jump right in i'm gonna burn 71 of these goofy pun stickers that i just got First edition prints yield two cents a print. That rate is gonna be better than the current coin to cash conversion rate. So that is sweet, we're gaming the system just a little bit. So now that burning is finally out, the first thing I'm gonna do, like most of you guys probably, is destroy all of my influencer cards. We're just gonna mow down that channel and leave few survivors. I have absolutely hundreds of these pretty much worthless 1 million CC stickers. They won't sell for the floor price of 10 cents, but at two cents a pop, at the end of this, I'll have some significant value anyway from these cards, so that's really cool. Before we knew the rate of credit for burns, the CEO of Quid, Michael, did say that we weren't gonna be able to get rich burning prints, and a lot of players in the Discord assumed it would be maybe one cent per card or even a little lower, so it's really cool that we're gonna be actually able to recoup some decent costs with uh, burning these extra low value cards. 39 first edition prints of these Miles McKenna influencer gifts, and that's gonna net me 78 cents. That's that's nice. I'm not gonna go super pyromaniac on this because I can always burn more later. I think I'll keep most of my sets intact, focus on the higher duplicates weighing my account down. I don't have uh, thousands and thousands of, of dupes to burn like some players with much larger collections. I've just seen them burn so many at once and I've seen accounts that are down thousands and thousands of prints. So while obviously I'm trying to gain prints and add size to my collection, I do want to replace this less valuable stuff with better prints, better collectibles, and that will actually increase the overall value of my collection more, and I think that's a worthy trade-off. When cards are burned, they actually go to this specific quid burner account that they set up recently. As we can see, players have burned 85,000 prints so far, which is quite a bit, a lot of store credit there. But if we think about it, there's actually millions and millions and millions of prints potentially out there on quid. So if we're gonna see any reduction in the market saturation, I think we're gonna need a lot more to be burned. I mean, just think about how many influencer cards have 1 million CC. Not that all of those are in circulation, of course. Course. So I really enjoy this new feature. I think it's a service to the community that we get to recycle these old stuff and get some new stuff potentially. And it's actually pretty satisfying to see these prints go up in flames like this. And I do think at the end of destroying all these, I'll have a pretty significant amount of quid credit. I'll be able to buy some cool stuff on the aftermarket or maybe some packs, who knows? But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching me destroy some of these hard earned digital collectibles. Feel free to check out any of my other videos, sub to this channel, follow me on Quid, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.